I'm Jason Carter. Physical optimization defines my life. The day I was born, doctors nearly killed me with medical malpractice. They said I'd never walk. I've been proving them wrong for 35 years. It's easier than you think to obtain super optimal health. I've devoted my life to it, and with my help, you can too. I'm Jason Carter, and this is Enzyme Mental. And welcome to Enzyme Mental. I'm Jason Carter, and today I wanted to tell you a little bit more about my favorite supplement of all time, pyroloquinoline quinone, better known just as PQQ. So PQQ is, again, a vitamin-like compound essential for cellular energy function. And as I've told you, its primary benefit is that it generates and restores mitochondria, which are the energy furnaces inside all of our cells. Mitochondria act like tiny power plants. They take digested nutrients and actually convert them into energizing compounds that your cells will then use to do their work. Most cellular functions rely on a constant supply of energy from mitochondria for essential activity like growth, repair, and even reproduction. During our lifetime, mitochondria divide on their own to replenish their numbers, and this process is known as mitochondrial biogenesis. But as we get older, this process, like everything else in the body, slows down dramatically. Mitochondrial biogenesis is critical to protect cells from premature aging. As we get older and mitochondrial function diminishes, many health problems manifest, including things like neurodegeneration, which is the breakdown of nerves. But mitochondria can continue to grow, repair, and replenish themselves even into your advanced years and later life. And that's really where PQQ comes in. PQQ serves as a cofactor for several energy generating reactions in the mitochondria. Animals raised without any intake of PQQ actually display many abnormalities of growth and development. So new research actually confirms that PQQ is a powerful stimulator of mitochondrial biogenesis. And I've talked to you a lot in my prior videos about PQQ about how the recommended dose or the dose used in clinical trials is 20 milligrams per day. And that's often the dose you'll find in most supplement preparations of PQQ. And I wanted to tell you guys today a little bit about where that comes from, that specific dose. So in a study to evaluate the effect of a single dose of PQQ in human subjects, each participant was given 0.3 milligrams of PQQ per kilogram of body weight, which amounts to approximately 20 milligrams for an average person. So this is where we get that dosage from. And within 48 hours of supplementation, there was a dramatic increase in mitochondrial function as measured by metabolites in the urine. A side benefit to this single 20 milligram dose of PQQ is that markers of inflammation like C-reactive protein and interleukin-6 actually decreased, showing evidence that PQQ has a powerful anti-inflammatory effect that could itself help ward off a variety of ailments. And regarding the brain, mitochondrial biogenesis has been identified as critical in protecting against neurodegeneration and cognitive decline. And in fact, in one study, 41 healthy elderly subjects were randomized to receive either 20 milligrams of PQQ daily for 12 weeks or a placebo. And compared to the placebo, supplementation with PQQ was associated with significant improvements in attention and working memory and an associated increase in brain blood flow in the frontal lobes. In elderly people with forgetfulness, which can either be self-identified or even identified by a family member or acquaintance, the same PQQ dose led to improvements in memory test scores after just eight weeks. PQQ is actually even very beneficial for those with a traumatic brain injury. In experimental rodent models of traumatic brain injury, treatment with PQQ successfully prevented cell death. And it did this by preventing the activation of caspases, which are proteins associated with pathways that lead to cell death. This protective effect is linked to improved brain function and cognitive performance, and these are both otherwise significantly reduced after head injury, as you can imagine. These neuroprotective effects also extend to the peripheral nervous system which connects the brain and spinal cord to the limbs and the organs. The regeneration of peripheral nerves that have been severed is consequently enhanced by treatment with PQQ. 
This important finding has led to the development of nerve repair conduits that are filled with PQQ. And so the aim here is for surgeons to use these in nerve reconstruction procedures to help maximize recovery following nerve injuries. Head trauma is a major problem for maturing individuals at greater risk for falls, and PQQ may actually protect against excessive damage if one sustains a head injury. And speaking from experience here, I've had a lifetime of head trauma beginning when I was born, and I can say with full confidence that PQQ has helped my brain and my mental clarity better than anything else I've ever taken in my life. That's one reason among many why it's my favorite supplement of all time. Okay, so how exactly does PQQ boost mitochondrial growth? Supplementation with PQQ actually activates a gene expression pathway regulated by PGC1-alpha, a well-known activator of mitochondrial biogenesis in its own right. It appears to achieve this by activation of the SIRT1, a sirtuin protein, a protein associated with longevity. Numerous recent studies have shown that serotins help to regulate cellular health, protect against disease and age-related loss of function, and like I said, play a role in boosting longevity. In other words, not only does PQQ trigger mitochondrial biogenesis, it also activates and supports many other protective mechanisms tied to lifespan and health. In addition to all these effects, PQQ is an exceptional antioxidant. Many other nutrients can only quell oxidative stress for a temporary period of time. For example, vitamin C can only participate in about four cycles of beneficial redox cycling, which is really what happens when an antioxidant goes to work on free radical compounds. But in comparison, one molecule of PQQ can undergo an astonishing 20,000 cycles. So in this way, as I've said to you before, PQQ is at least 5,000 times more powerful than vitamin C in regards to antioxidant potential. As a result of all of these abilities, PQQ has shown that it can actually increase lifespan. A type of roundworm, the C. elegans, is an animal model commonly used to study longevity due to its relatively short lifespan. Two different research groups have used this model to evaluate PQQ's effects. In both studies, supplementation with PQQ led to a significant increase in the average lifespan of treated animals. In fact, the study's findings were almost identical, with an average increase in lifespan by 30% in one study and 31% in the other. And as I told you before, PQQ is not produced in the body, so you must acquire it from the diet, or it's much easier to get it from supplementation. So try to get it in a dose of 20 milligrams a day, and I've taken larger doses than that, and you don't really feel any better, so 20 milligrams does seem to be an appropriate dose for activity. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzyme Mental. Stay healthy. Thank <laughs> you.